thought it went very well. The athletes were uh, really committed and we uh, showed great concentration, great, great attention, um, and were, were good students. I think you, you've got uh, uh, potential to have a very good big man. I think you've got your backcourt could be very solid. Uh, um, and there's some other good perimeter players. I think uh, the biggest change probably is more parity across across the country. Apart from Carleton, who's been dominant, uh, yeah, there's a lot more uh, teams that are equal or more parity. But as far as uh, the standard of play, I don't. There are very few elite players, individuals playing in, in the country that are threatening national team spots. All of our best players are in the States, which is an unfortunate situation. Is there any way to change that? Well, hopefully, yes. <laughs> uh, I believe there should be a high performance level division in Canada that provides better, better competitive experience in the NCAA. I think the 24 second game, uh, 24 second clock is. is uh, I'm not in favor of the 24 second clock. Um, I thought we had a very good game without it. Uh, 24 second clock uh, uh, puts more pressure on the players. And it doesn't necessarily uh, breed better teaching or coaching. Guys, there's far more uh, that, uh, shots that are taken that wouldn't have been taken under a 30 second clock. The pressure of the shot clock. Uh, it's fine for throws, um, but I don't see why we have to have a 24 second clock in, in college basketball. Um, just because FIBA decides that they want to follow the NBA, I don't see the NCAA following the NBA. There's nothing wrong to me with the NCAA game. The NCAA uh, players, uh, uh, it's a great, have a great game. With a totally different shot clock. I, I just don't see what the 24 second clock does for high school basketball in Canada. I don't see what it does for junior high school basketball. Uh, I, I personally think that it should be a 30 second shot clock man. I had it at Laurentian. Uh, Victoria is isolated. It's yeah. on an island on the other side of Canada. So it's, uh, but uh, all the ingredients are the same. You have to have very strong leadership in your program. In the, in the university and in coaching, and you have to have uh, uh, good teaching, good leadership, and then good athletes. And uh, the that decent facilities, and you can have a high quality program.